we all know how junk uh, Chevy TBI systems are, so uh, I'm going to try and put a carburetor on this uh, 4.3 for uh, next to zero dollars, except for I plan on V8 swapping it, so I already have an expensive style uh, bypass regulator, but that's 80 bucks, uh, wherever it is now, somewhere in my pile of junk. Anyway, that's expensive, but the adapter, I know what you're saying, well, you want to adapt it. This is the adapter. I used, uh, I don't know what this is, three quarter inch plywood. Kitchen and bath silicone, I'm just shaping it with the shaper here, so it'll fit this uh, carter. I'm not gonna use Mopar Man's precious fucking Edel bro. Oh, I don't want junk with him. <laughs> Little does he know how great this is gonna be, but uh, anyway. This one just has the choke delete done to it anyway. So it'll flow flow more fuel through it, but uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Just uh, working on this first, and then I'll do the fuel system. I don't even know my regulator. Oh, maybe it's in the truck. But anyway, yeah. Well, the fuel lines are here. I don't know which ones uh, f like feed and which ones return. They come all the way up. It's stupid. They go along the frame down there, and then they come up and around. Kind of silly. But then they go into the back. I don't know. So I don't know exactly how that's gonna go. Uh, for now, I think I'm gonna do it really greasy and just get fuel to this carburetor. But when I do the V8, then I might cut these way down there at the frame and you know run them up the firewall and make it all nice and tidy and whatnot but uh i don't know for now you'll experience my full hackery all right so i got uh the throttle junk injection off um all of me just wants to throw this right now but i don't know if it's worth anything some feller might want it somewhere i don't anyway now i just gotta make this go on there so, how am I going to do that? That's the question. I think I might, uh, I got an idea, so. Yeah, try this out. Should be pretty fucking awesome. Okay, the bottom piece is uh, <clears throat> just about complete. Um, I, uh, even though I went to uh, machining school, uh, my layout skills are subpar at best. Um, well, I just didn't really try or care. But So this one had to get a little bit custom peenied. Um, uh, they call me port match for a reason because there's only a little bit of a lip all the way around like a semicircle, like a half moon type idea underneath that you can't see you can't see it see but there, there's holes float like air can get through there so that's good enough for me I have to go to fucking Horico or something get some uh, shorter bolts to bolt this prick down you can see how big the port should be and I could rasp that out but every time I touch this plywood more chunks of it come out and I just keep getting madder and madder so I'm just gonna run it it's probably fine time to screw this part on the four barrel part got it all professionally notched out for the bolts um actually I haven't even tested it yet so here's the moment of truth uh oh it's close oh fuck yeah yeah sick yeah and then I'm just gonna put this on there put some wood screws right into the plywood and it's carb swapped I think it's gonna be a, a no air cleaner deal because I don't think I'll clear oh I guess I could Hmm, do I get another hood and put a fucking, that'd be kind of cool, you know, you have like the shaker style hood with the air cleaner sticking out with the, the, the shaker style 4.3 liter, automatic, yeah, that'd be hot roddy, hey. Okay, so, I got all this port matched, um, as I said I would, um, maybe I didn't, because I didn't port match it, um, anyway, I think I'm going to... Get the bullshit electronicals out of the way. Oh, I'm so excited for this thing to tell me when to stop revving my 4.3 instead of this fucking horse shit going on. But uh, I got, uh, you guys always call me a hack or whatever, but uh, little do you know, I got the high temp silicone out for, uh, for the, for the uh, uh, base plate, I'll call it. I get to make words up because I'm making this shit. So yeah, put a good fucking... And then, because uh, you got to fill in all the imperfections from where the shitty plywood cracked. So I really gotta slop it in there. And then I'm gonna bolt this down. Then I'm gonna screw the other part on top of that. And then, uh, yeah, it's kinda like once use, once install. And there's no way I'm gonna fit an air cleaner unless maybe I rip this out. But I think I already talked about that in the last clip. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect, nice little stripe, all the way, nice neat stripe around. You don't want too much because it'll just ooze out the sides anyway. So, yeah, just a little thin skiff, uh, wherever you wanna put it actually. I don't really give a fuck. Um, oh shit. Getting, oh god, need another cameraman here or something. You might just stick that on there nicely. Uh, yep. And then, uh, my custom bolts I just cut because I found them in the shop. Didn't even have to go to Lordco for them. That was nice. That's why you keep all your random fucking fasteners around. 
Um, okay, where did the other two go? There's one more. Um, here, I'll just drop that before it falls. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. is a This is a two hand job for a Neanderthal with fucking gorilla fingers like me. One sec. Okay, um, really like this product. So, what you do is you cut this one in half, and then it's like a rub on apply. See? Yeah, it works really well. Like, I'm really like, it's like oiling the wood almost like a stained varnish type idea, but it's all silicone, so it's gonna seal real good. Um, I wish I had a lot more though to fill in like the big divots from me being a fucking hack and not being a carpenter. Um, yeah. Fuck. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine, I think. If anyone's got any suggestions, uh, it might be nice. Maybe I'll uh, go find some more silicone in the back here, see what I can find. Maybe I'll mix it with some kitchen and bath or something. Okay. Almost ready to slap this on there. It's all screwed together. See, I put four screws and then uh, quick sand. And uh, I know what you're thinking, not all the wood shit got in there, but fuck it. What's the matter? It's all combustible. Same with the silicone, it burns. I've seen it burn before. So, yeah, and then as far as uh, the wiring and stuff uh, for you guys doing it properly, I have no idea. I'm just leaving everything here. It's just gonna dangle, and if I have to, I'll just plug this shit back in and let it dangle in the wind down there somewhere. And then just, if as long as there's no fuel going to it, the injectors can think they're injecting and feel all good about themselves when really uh, this thing's doing the work. So that's my theory. Hopefully it works. I don't know. This thing ran like a bag of shit with that TBI on it. just punished you when you put throttle into it, so I don't, I don't know. Guess we'll see. Okay, uh, it's all mounted up. Got four nice wood screws and washers in there. It's fucking solid. Should be a uh, pretty good setup. I might... Uh, bottle feed it at first to see if it'll start. I guess I have to figure out how to hook up the throttle. I don't even know which one. I think this is the cruise control because it's going over there. Doing funky shit, I guess. And then this one must be the throttle. So I don't exactly know if I'm going to do that quite yet, but because it's pushy. Well, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty simple. I might just do a hand throttle even. Just a little shoestring or something going out through there. That'd work alright for me. Um, so, yeah, this is just the, the Bannock and Bear Meat Edition. S10. Anyway, so, or Sonoma rather. Cab lights work though. Well, most of them. Okay, first fire up of the carburetor. Pumping. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Oh no. Okay, uh, this uh, makes a fellow want to get a fire extinguisher almost. I uh, had to borrow some uh, cover. Oh fuck. Yeah, I ruined them. Fuck sake. Oh, those aren't even mine, whatever. At least my truck's not on fire. Oh, it's probably full of water now. That's my fire extinguisher. That and a hose bib all the way over there. Broke some glass in the process. That was fun though, holy fuck. God, let's not do that again if we can. Okay, um, there's the fuel system. Um, I didn't really film it in the order. Uh, yeah, that fire was pretty shitty. I'm out here after the fact. My camera died, or phone rather. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Got the plug wire, but uh, not really that bad. I mean, burnt this bullshit, but that was all crap anyway. Like, I didn't even know what that was from. I was going to rip all that shit out. My oil cap is missing, but that thing was all fucked anyway. Um, but, uh, well, it melted whatever that is. Well, that's EGR. Fuck that anyway. I was going to, yeah, fuck that. But this cable for the cruise control, have to get a new one, I guess, but... I don't know, not bad. It was a learning lesson, I guess, get a fire extinguisher, prepare, or I don't know, not be an idiot, or uh, probably just do the exact same thing again. But, uh, yeah, good times. Didn't burn it down, still water on the car, but I should probably blow that out, but I'm not, because it's cold. But, yeah, totally fucked up fucking coveralls. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is.